This is now my second video on SDXL Turbo because now in addition to the first model that came out from Stability, we now have new models that other people are doing in fine tuning that have different looks and the ability to do higher resolution. But there is a cost. Instead of it being totally real time with one step to process the image, this takes about 10 steps to do it, but it's still super fast as you will see. I've loaded in this model here, the TurboVision XL Superfast XL based on the new SDXL Turbo, three to five step quality output at high resolution. And yes, you can do it at three to five steps, but it really starts looking good at 10 and it really is still really fast that way. So let's check it out. Oh, you seem to have caught me in the middle of being highly creative. This is SpongeBob angry holding a gun. Let's go ahead and delete this. Now, one of the big differences in this model is you can do a higher resolution and still get a great image. The first time I shared this with you, we were doing 512 by 512, and right now I've got 768 by 768 going, and it's looking pretty good. Okay, so with this seed that is randomly generated, this is the default image. We've got the auto queue going, so it's constantly feeding whatever's in this prompt box into the system to generate an image. If I was to say, little kid on a bike, right? One of the things you'll notice is that it looks a little bit more painterly. Now, this is the three to five steps they said. I've got it set for five right here. I'm gonna pop it up to 10 and you'll see that the quality gets much better. Okay, let's say close up, angry, angry little kid. Now look at that, see, that's pretty good, but it's clearly got some sort of a style going. A lot of the, as I've played with this, a lot of the characters that are generated, if you just put a human, it has this sort of style. But that's not to say you can't do photorealistic stuff like the ocean at night. Oh, that's nice, I like the other one better. With high waves, stormy skies. Deep blue ocean underwater. How about shark? Whoa. How about if it's a happy shark? Come on, I want a bigger smile. Big smile. <laughs> it's starting to look that way. Let's pop up the happiness level a little bit. I feel like at some point it's gonna turn into some crazy Pixar shark. Let's see if I did that. Pixar shark. Yeah, that's what I figured. Then it would pop in and we get a bigger smile, but that looks so good, doesn't it? And that's in seconds, but it's not real time as fast as before, but that's pretty fast and at a higher resolution. It's really, really nice. And I like the style of this. Squirrel on water skis. Nice. Wes Anderson. Style. It did kind of get it even without the word style. I really like that. I'm really happy with that. Are you happy with that? If you're happy with that, tell me in the comments. Come on. Wearing a wig. Can we do it? <laughs> Ponytail flying in the wind. This looks so nice, but I'm going to see if I can't get this ponytail in there. Boom, 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 boom. I wonder if we can do back view. I don't think I've ever typed that as a prompt. Okay. All right, well, we definitely got the ponytail, but it's not a squirrel anymore as much as it is a person with some squirrel features. Because we changed our seed, here's our new default guy, which is interesting that it kind of already has a Wes Anderson feel to it with no prompt. And if you saw my last video, the whole thing was about creating animations in the Wes Anderson style. So something crazy is going on. The thing about this tech is that you just can't stop playing with it. Eggs on toast. Like what? On toast. Yeah, see, that looks delicious. That's really, that's really nice for just no time at all. With what? Just wanted to see what it would come up with. Steak. I don't know what those green things are. That looks interesting. What else would be good? Sliced bananas. Look at that. I just want to see when it like starts dropping off. Like how long of a list can I make before it starts dropping off details? So blueberries. 
Okay, blueberries, they're there. We've still got everything else. Strawberries. Okay, this is looking pretty good. We've still got all of it. What else can we put on here? Grits? Does it know what grits are? Mmm, it's dropping the ball on grits. Do you know what grits are? They're a traditionally southern dish made from corn. And I think what they're trying to do here is make these grits that looks more like polenta. There's grits back there. All right, well, and let's play with the seed. Let's just kind of scroll through and see what other visual. This is the thing I love about the seed. And the first time I made the video, I didn't even, didn't even occur to me to change the seed. But look at that again, and just like this, just in just a second and a half, we get all these different views. I wonder if it knows who Gumby is. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with that. Gumby with, I always like to see what it thinks we're gonna do. Okay, with someone. Yellow, I'm gonna put feathers, but I just wanna see what it'll do. Hmm. Feathers. That's not Gumby anymore. Hold on, let me see if I can emphasize the gumbiness of it. I don't think I ever would have thought I would have said that sentence in my whole life. No, still looks like that. It is actually looking more like Gumby. Let's see if I can get him in like a kitchen, in an old rustic kitchen. Oh, that's a rustic town. Kitchen. Sitting on a stool. Reading a book. Reading a book. Well, there's a book there. He's not reading it, though. I want him reading it. So we're going to select that. We're going to control up this guy until he is reading that book. Well, <laughs> he's glancing at it. I'll go with that. Can we, put a, can we put a cup of hot steaming tea? Cup of hot steaming tea. Well not steaming and he put the book down but I guess that makes sense where'd the tea go sometimes when this happens I just click around to seeds if you just say maybe another seed's got it I just love the changing of the seed it gives a whole different take and it's just so easy just to click and it gets so fast let's blank this out again where are we seed wise let's see what our Ooh, look at that that's our starting image if you remember on the last video the default seed was like some sort of weird animal without very much detail whatsoever and this one every default seed seems to be a person let's scroll through and hope for the best in terms of being appropriate yep there's a person and photorealistic a little characterization to that there's some animals but it defaults to much more realistic images than the first one so it's fun to play with how a wax statue of pinky and the brain i just want to see Oh, okay, that's awesome. Let's scroll through these seeds, see what else we can get. Oh, look at that. This makes me so happy inside. Oh my gosh, these are so good. I should be downloading these and animating every single one of these and creating some sort of a film out of them. So good. A wax statue of Pinky in the Brain. How about a wax steampunk statue. <sighs> scrolling through the seeds, scrolling through the seeds. Boy, I don't even have to do this probably, but I'm gonna say Wes Anderson style and just see what it adds to it. Really not too much, because it already was kind of that vivid High contrast, whimsical. Wow. See, <laughs> wow, okay, okay. How about Steampunk Mona Lisa? What does Steampunk do? Eh, okay, predictable. Mona, see if we can figure it out. Mm, maybe. Lisa. All right, let's let's emphasize Mona Lisa a little bit, see if we can get more of the traditional pose instead of this one. There, see? We just up that sucker up. 
And can we do pigtails? Pink ribbon. Now, you know what we're gonna have to do now, we're gonna have to pop this back up because now it's getting too silly. 1.5. Look at that, she's coming out of the frame down there. That's pretty cool. How about alien? That's nice, but I wanna try the old Z, Z, no. Oh, look at that. Oh, I didn't even have to finish it. You know I'm gonna go through these seeds. It's worth the 10 steps. So, I mean, this is so freaking fast. Xenomorph with a lampshade on his head. No, not there. Well, <laughs> that's not exactly what I meant. Not for a head, on his head. No, I think they like that design. Can it be a different color, purple? Purple instead of alien. Well, let's do it. Predator. Let's see if it does too. Ooh. Pretty impressive. Oh. What if I said cartoon? Three D Pixar Alien versus Predator. We have to make them cute. Cute. Alien versus Predator. <laughs> the look on their face. Like, hey, what? We were just about to kill each other. Hold on, let's, we gotta see through this a little bit. Oh, I love technology so much. This Alien versus Predator. Look at that. Okay, I, can we do big blue eyes? Let's just see if we can go over the top. Big blue eyes. Oh, they didn't like that. Ooh, that's nice. Long eyelashes. Those aren't eyelashes. Up, 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 up. Eyelashes. Mm, we're getting there, but now there's not an alien anymore. That is adorable, though. Big blue eyes. Look at that big smile. Mm, I want to say teeth. Human teeth. Whoa. Horns? Sure, it says. Breathing fire? It even gets some fire coming out of that mouth. Well, now it's turning into a dragon. Ooh, boy, that's, that's so good, though. A human eye. Nice. Blue. Blue. Okay. Flexion of what? Well, something weird like a pumpkin. Yeah, so we're not getting any. Oh. Didn't see that coming. Look at these. Hey, you're not a pumpkin. Wow. Okay, you have to go play with this TurboVision XL if you're set up with this workflow, and if you're not, I will link to it so you can just drag it into your Comfy UI interface. Obviously, this assumes that you already have Comfy UI going, but if you do, drag this workflow in, you should be good to go after you download these models. But this is just the beginning of these SDXL Turbo models. There's just a handful of them up there at uh, Civit right now, but this, this is just gonna continue, and it's just gonna get faster, and it's gonna get crazier, and I love it so much, do you?